Is your Bitcoin transaction stuck or do you need to look up more about the information on your wallet address? This is where the mempool comes in and I'm here today to explain to you what it actually is. But before we get going with the mempool, we have to establish a bit how the Bitcoin blockchain works. The blockchain is established by having the miners on one end who are here to solve a mathematical puzzle and the one that solves it the fastest gets the Bitcoin blockchain reward. That is the reward each block a miner gets currently sitting at 3.125 Bitcoin. Their incentive is to find as many blocks and as fast as possible. On average though, each new block on the Bitcoin blockchain comes in roughly every 10 minutes. And each of these blocks is important to know that this is where your Bitcoin transaction are being finalized by a confirmation. So if a miner finds a block and your Bitcoin transactions fee rate is high enough to be in that block, you will actually see the confirmation of that transaction and it will be added to the Bitcoin blockchain, which has its own numbering system for each block. But how do we find out about these things and what is the mempool actually? Essentially, the mempool is a waiting line where you wait until all of the Bitcoin transactions that have been broadcasted to the networks are being picked up by the miners and finalized in the next block. To learn more about these things, you have pages that are called block explorers. There are various different options. I personally like mempool.space, which is also what we will see here in just a few seconds. To find more out about your Bitcoin transaction, we need to go to that website, I've linked it below as well, and actually look up your address. We'll do that in a second step, but for the first thing, let's actually get an overview of what the mempool space website is all about. Once you've opened the website, you do actually see all of the established blocks and upcoming blocks at the top. This is very essential to see because you see the number of blocks that have been mined in the past. Each one has its own block time and you also see which miner mined them. And more importantly, on the left hand side, you do see how long it will take roughly until the next blocks are being mined and what the fee rate for these blocks are. If we scroll down a bit further, we will actually also have an overview of the current fee rate. This fee rate is very important for you to understand. Before actually sending out your Bitcoin transaction, you should always check the fee rate because it could be that it's different from the wallet you are actually using, whether that be the Relay wallet or another Bitcoin wallet. And in here, you can actually check what the current rates are. There are various different stages of how you can get your Bitcoin transaction finalized. On the left hand side of that info box, you have the no priority zone. These are the transactions that are going to be the cheapest, but they're probably going to take the longest. Next to that, you have different categories set to low, medium and high priority, where you can actually see the current fee rate of what you would need to enter in your transaction to get that transaction finalized faster. Therefore, before sending your Bitcoin transaction, always check this info box on the mempool website. And if we actually scroll a bit further, you have various different options. You see the current difficulty adjustment. That's more important for miners to understand when that changes. You see different mining data. You see node data and a block visualization by mempool. And further down, you actually have an overview of the current transactions in the network. But we want to know now more about your Bitcoin address and the potential transaction and to do that, we go to the top right where you have a search bar and we'll now enter this Bitcoin address I have set up for us in this video. And if I actually look up this address and I enter, you do see all of the various different transactions that have been done in the past with this address. You do also see from where to where that's being sent. And you can check stuff like has a Bitcoin address potentially sent Bitcoin in the past? Has it overpaid? Because you can go into detail for each transaction and look up what's going on. You can, by the way, if you get the transaction ID, also do this right away by entering into the search box. And for this video and this purpose now, I actually looked up a transaction and this is where it gets interesting for you to see if your transaction is actually finalized. You would see this with the little confirmation statement above right in green. And you can also find out if you've overpaid uh, hopefully not. If you're underpaid, great, you got away with one. And how long it took for the transaction to settle. There's also various technical details, but I'm not going to go into these ones. But this is basically an overview of your transaction. If you're now stuck with your transaction because your fee rate is too low, as we've established before, the mempool is the waiting line. If your fee rate is high enough, you'll get added to the next block. There is actually a website for mempool where you can accelerate your transaction. I've linked the link below. All you need to do is basically pay a little invoice to spike your fee and then your transaction will be added to the next block. So to recap, it's very important to understand in the mempool, it's a waiting line for you to see which transactions are being finalized. You can look up your address or your transaction 
And if you have the need to speed it up, this option is always there. And generally speaking, it's a cool page to check out what addresses are currently doing what and how you can actually find out more about the Bitcoin network. If you got questions, feedback, or just want to say hello, leave us a comment below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mm -hmm.